Hey gardeners, Ryan from Silly Seedlings here. And today I wanted to introduce you to our flagship six cell silicone seed trays. Our silicone seed trays are made from 100% food grade BPA free silicone. And as you can see, they come in six fabulous colors. I wanna go over a little bit of the functions and features of the seed trays. So first off, when you pick up one of our seed trays, you're gonna notice the quality. It's thick silicone. They're nice and durable. You can squeeze them, you can twist them, and just the quality of what is in your hands, you're gonna notice. Once you pick one of these up, there's no way you're gonna go back to plastic because there's so many functions and it's just a delight to hold and to use. So uh, one of those functions is, let's start with the ability to sanitize your trays. So because the trays are made from silicone and not plastic, you can sanitize them with steam or boiling water. If you ever have some sort of infectious agent in your garden and you needed to sanitize your trays, you can do these without using any, without using any harsh chemicals. All you need is a dishwasher and put it on sanitized mode, or you can just simply uh, put them in some boiling water for a few minutes and they'll be completely sanitized. Another benefit of the silicone besides their ability to be sanitized and that they're dishwasher safe is that it's very easy to actually transplant uh, the, the plants out of the cells. So I'd like to demonstrate for you how easy this is. I'm going to put these to the side. And blue is my favorite color, so I'm going to go with the blue. So here we have the empty silicone seed tray, and here we have one that's been growing some. I believe this is pak choy. So the way I recommend transplanting your seeds is pushing your finger gently through the bottom drain hole. And what's going to happen is you can, as you push up, the seed will, the, the soil will actually lift off. So let me give this a, a demonstration. So you want to make sure, first of all, that your plants are big enough to transplant. Otherwise, the soil will be too loose and it'll just crumble everywhere. So as you can see here, we have some, uh, some substantial uh, you know, leafy greens growing here. And you can always test it out before you actually do the transplanting. Um, but these look fine, so let's, let's try it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this a little bit to get my finger under it. I'm going to do this front, this front bottom cell right here. So my finger is underneath in the drain hole and all I'm gonna do is push up. See how easy that is? And it comes out in one piece effortlessly. There's no crinkling, no cracking of the plastic. Uh, this is bendable silicone, uh, no damage to the tray whatsoever. And you could transplant hundreds of these within you know, minutes, it's very quick. I'm gonna drop this one back in and let's do another one of a, of a different color. Let's see, I'll take the green. Okay. So this one is actually, I believe this is some sort of cabbage. And this time we'll do the middle one. So again, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up. You can see my middle finger here. I'm just gonna push up and the cell comes right up effortlessly. It's so easy. And look at that root growth. Nice and square, no problems, no twisting, it's beautiful. Now if you wanted to plant this, what you could do is you could squeeze this and sort of loosen up the roots a little bit before you plant it. But to be honest, it's perfectly fine planting them just like that. So I'm gonna put this back and let's bring out the colors once more. So the reason why we have these colors is, well, it's two reasons. The first reason is that they're really beautiful in your garden. I always thought that having nice colors for seeds would be such a nice addition to you know, the, the beautiful colors of the garden. So it's a nice compliment to one's garden. Um, my personal favorite is the brighter colors. If you're more traditional, you know, we have some of the more conservative colors as well. But they're all, uh, they're all really nice. But the actual function of a colors when I was designing these was that you can actually color code your, your plants and seeds depending on the color. So for example, if you want to take, for example, the squash, summer squash, you grow a lot of summer squash, this would be, you know, what, what better color for summer squash than something like this? 
uh, a vibrant orange. Now, almost all winter vegetables that are leafy greens are going to be green. So um, in this case, you know, you might want to you know, put your kale maybe in the blue and you can put your cabbage in the green and maybe you can start your beets or something like that in the black. But it's really up to you, right? The point here is that you can grow six different plants or six different vegetables for your garden and not need to label them as long as you remember which color is which. So there's no, no need to be confused on, you know, maybe the tags that you're using blew away in the wind or they degenerated or something like that. Uh, much, much easier to actually just use the colors as your guide. One last thing here on the, um, besides the colors on the actual design of these is the handy carrying tabs. Now the carrying tabs might look small, but they actually serve an important purpose. So I'm going to put these side by side. And as you can see here, these are all lined up. And the, important, the nice part about the tabs is that when these are lined up, it actually makes it a little bit hard to, you know, you have to use your fingertips to sort of pull these out, especially if there's many of these uh, together. But the tabs provide a really easy way just to pick these up with two fingers, and then you can place one hand underneath, carry them where you needed to carry them. Other than that, the last feature I'd like to go over with you guys is their ability to stack. So these stack in very easy ways. If, if you're not using them and maybe it's the off season, you know, you can, you can clean these out and then stack them in a corner of your greenhouse or garage or put them somewhere. But you don't have to worry about these, you know, laying around on the, on, on, or taking up a lot of space in your, in your, in your storage area. So as you can see here, you can just stack them really easily. They come apart really easily. And you can actually make little fun, different ways of stacking them as well. They stack symmetrically. So there's many different ways to stack them if you, if you like. So that is it for our six cell silicone seed tray. Again, high quality BPA free food grade silicone. Easy, delightful to use, superior product compared to the plastic. Especially if you're an organic gardener, these are fantastic because not only are, are they reusable and they should last you, I mean, they should last you a lifetime if you take care of them. But there's no reason to think that these will break. They're not gonna crack or melt in the sun. They're not gonna freeze. As long as you take care of these, this will be the last seed tray you'll ever need to buy. So from a sustainability standpoint, you're gonna be really limiting your plastic consumption and plastic waste by switching to silicone. Now, I wouldn't say that unless these were a joy and a pleasure to use, but they're a superior product as well. They're, you're, you're gonna enjoy sowing your seeds and growing and sprouting your seeds much, much more using these than the, than the traditional generic plastic, you know, crinkly, warpy, and uh, possibly melting uh, plastic trays. So that's it for me. Thanks again. Again, I'm Ryan from Silly Seedlings, and we hope you enjoy our silicone seed trays. Thank you. Bye-bye.